to say but he's he looked arrogant and then he looked like i don't know he felt so bossy everybody victor and franca here and you're welcome to the channel today we want to share with you on how we met there's a part of the story that is more of a coincidence or more of a miracle and we want to share the whole story with you on how we met to say but he's he looked arrogant and then he looked like i don't know he felt so bossy fresh um, guy you know um, one thing i've learned is that don't don't judge um, a, a book by its cover it's cover yeah it's not good fresh white <laughs> <laughs> did you just say that i didn't say that me <laughs> so when he entered and then i looked I, I i i just said to myself who is this arrogant guy he's so bossy and blah 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 and then ishmo came to pass again and then i, I was like, oh ishmo then i, I was asked i, I was saying, fresh guy <laughs> I was telling, <laughs> I was telling Ishmo to help me swim, even if gliding, you know, because I didn't know. But then you knew it was glide. It was called gliding. I didn't know, <laughs> but I just wanted him to help me with what people were doing. Yeah. Like, fine. So he was like, he's coming, he's coming like two, three times, and then when Victor came, then he introduced. I think he was standing there with you, and then I was like, oh, won't you help me? Um, won't you help me swim? And, and, like, and you'd be surprised that through all this time, I didn't see you. Mm -hmm. Even in my entering, that she was she, apparently she had spotted me long exactly. ago. You, you know, you know when you entered like this, you took, you went round as if said the place was yours. <laughs> you went round and went to sit at that side. Jesus, that um, someone yeah. had that area. Yeah, and then you came back and you went down, then came back and sat there. Okay, as if said, I thought you were even one of the people, but yeah, the I, managers. <laughs> This is him. <laughs> he <been> like that. <laughs> and then um his friend I when he was talking to him, I was like, Oh, won't you help me? And then he was like, Oh, this is his friend. He's called Shadow. He mentioned Shadow. Right yeah. Now. But then I went into the pool. So no. when you guys were talking you guys were talking. No, hold on. And he was like, before you enter the pool, he was like, he will teach me. That was when you said, I'm coming. You went to the washroom to change. To uh, wear your shorts. Okay. There was a Nigerian girl in the pool who approached me. The Nigerian girl entered the pool. We, we became friends instantly because she was very friendly. She liked talking and all, all of that. But sh when Shadrach entered the pool, she went to him first. Please don't be confused. My name is Victor Shadrach Natekwecho. So, I mean... When I say Victor Shadrach, don't, don't get confused. Pardon me. Me myself, I'm confused with you. <laughs> you get that? I mean... Oh, to say, me myself, I'm confused with this name. <laughs> I can call him Victor, I can call him Shadrach. And she's also called Princess Francisca Aku Achemu. So which one should I mention? Should I mention Princess? Should I mention Francisca? Should I mention Shadrach? Mm. <laughs> I'm also confused with her name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then the oh, girl goodness. just caught him. You know, but what can I do, bro? Then bring me meat. Some bro, some Niger woman come take my meat to go out. Wait till I go do. Not, I just stood back and I was looking at him. He helped the lady with some breathing exercise and all of that. And then all of a sudden, I knew he was still wanted to um, approach him because hey. he can't see this nice girl and then pass by. Hey. So he's, he by falsely wanted to approach me and he approached me. And started, you know, that's in some. But, but, but you came directly. Am I lying? You, know, you came directly I, to I me. Didn't, I didn't come no, you came directly to me. Hold on. You came directly I didn't to come, me that Ishmael no, says please. I should teach you. No. I didn't come direct. When you were teaching the girl, when Ishmael introduced me, the Nigerian girl came, you told me you are coming. So I was just at the But moment. Ishmael introduced us. Introduced, yes. That's, but, I should teach you. Yes. Yeah, so that's what I'm trying to say. Hey, but I, did, I didn't come to you for you to teach me. Hey, which is why I, I hey. Women. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't approach him. He came to me by force. Okay. So, yes. I accept. I accept. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, and then that was it. that was how it, it all started. How you didn't even know my name on that day? No, so I didn't ask her her name, but I saw a necklace just like what she was wearing, and her name was inscribed on it, Ikuya. Yeah, sure. And you know, when I saw the name, I decided, well, don't worry, I'll show big boy to. I mean, I, I won't don't ask lie, you. No, but, but I didn't yeah. ask you. Did I ask you your name? No. no. 
So I decided I won't ask her her name. Uh-huh. So I saw uh-huh. a queer on it. So that's basically, so like, just like I was saying, I went home, I came in the afternoon, went home, and in the evening, I came back. And you'll be surprised, that evening, I didn't want to come back. I was feeling some way, so I didn't want to come back. So I just wanted to come back and just, just come and cool down, swim some more, and then help my guy. He does any drowning so that I help him to prevent that. That's when I came. So in essence, we wouldn't have met I if I yielded to how I was feeling and I didn't come. But God being good, I listened to coming. I came and we met. So I didn't ask her name. I saw a queer written on her necklace. And then we talked and all of that and all of that. And it she went from to, there. Yeah, started from there. And he then, took my number off her. <laughs> As you said, they were a lot of numbers. <laughs> hey, are you sure? I don't know who I took my number no. and you messaged me. Okay, okay. You called me at dawn when I told you I was going to Accra to uh, get some things for my mom. The next morning. The next morning. Yeah, the next morning. Do you know the time you called? You called me around 4 30. Can you imagine? You've got a girl's number. Just a day to the next. And you're calling me at dawn. Do I owe him? Why? Why did you give me up like that? Uh, oh no, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm <laughs> I mean, not, like, I'm, well, I'm not thinking about, like, you were weird. Like, yeah. yeah. He's still weird. <laughs> so basically i wake up i wake up usually very early sometimes 3 a.m sometimes 4 a.m no matter the time i sleep so yeah if i call it at that time i mean i just wanted to show her that yeah i mean chemo you know what i mean chemo yeah. you know what i mean yeah so that was basically how, how we, we met. met so we to met you at the pool but it wasn't his second place yeah that's the thing yeah it wasn't, it was yeah and it wasn't a working time for me as well i was i just came to help yeah. and i just came to hey you know the thing the good part is that in wanting to come and help somebody i met her mm-hmm. is that good yeah and then also like praying to god and not chasing we met yeah so you that you are watching do god you consider has, this as coincidence yeah. or a miracle god has plans for everybody you know? yeah so i think that was just fun. <laughs> so last words before we go. If you're looking for, well, for the females, this is what, so this is what I came to learn. For you females, that is a woman, you're not supposed to chase. You're not supposed to find. Because the Bible says that he who finds a wife. Finds a good thing. So the man is the one who's supposed to find. And the man is in shall or war. Shall cleave, will cleave. Oh, that one is after marriage. Thank you. I come and in it. Is it shall or will? We'll, we'll cleave. We'll cleave. Shall a man cleave, shall to, cleave. A man has to flee and go and look for a woman. Shall so cleave. So women, don't force yourself onto a man. He'll, they'll come, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so if you're watching this and you're a female or you're a lady, you are looking to be in a relationship or anything, um, I think that you, you don't have to be chasing. Don't be desperate. Don't be anxious about it as well. Okay, can we talk about um, the process when, after, after you called and all of that? Are you forgotten all? I have not really forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> you have forgotten men I'm only forget forgotten. about all that. I'm after they've ha- they've gotten you in the occasion <laughs> or forget about all of that. I've not forgotten the process. Talking about men. I've not forgotten. That would be for another story. That would be for another story. Anyway, so just a few tips we are sharing. Yeah. If you are a lady, you are looking for to be in a relationship, don't chase the man. Just be there. Be there. The, the thing is, the man is the one supposed to find you. So if the man is supposed to find you, your best shot is to position yourself. Or is that not so? Mm-hmm. But position yourself at the right places. Yeah. If you don't position yourself at the right places, like that's just it. And just so you know, there are different types of men. There are different, different types of women as well. There's a forward-looking man. They're not doing what fear. You know, some people do say that you meet the best woman in the club. But it's, a, you, it's a lie. It's a lie. And then you meet the best man in the club. It's, it's a, a lie. lie. I think I, you, I think you should be meeting your husbands and wives at the full side. It's very important. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has a very good feeling to it, too. <laughs> I do. <don't, yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a lie. So that's just a few tips we have for you. The woman, don't chase. Be at a good position. Yeah. We'll talk about that. We'll do a, vi- a separate video and we'll talk about that. How you, you can position yourself as a woman and how you can find as a man. And you, the man, you are the one who's supposed to find. 
But I missed all of this. At the end of the day, this was how I got to know she was the one. Peace. Peace dwelled in my heart. Peace dropped in my spirit. Yeah. And I mean, like that day, when we started talking in the pool, I don't know if by the condition of the pool that got me that peace. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, it was God. <laughs> so, yes. So, peace settled in my heart and... Like, we got talking. And, do you know, can you imagine that? That day, I didn't, like, literally, I didn't want her to go. I didn't want her to yeah, go. I, I remember. Went, don't say that story. Don't say that part. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that part. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't say that part. Don't say that part. Oh, that part, don't say it. <laughs> so, I didn't want her to go home. Yeah. Like, literally, if I have everything, I would have made her stay. I'm like, so, that is just it for the day. Yeah. That's just it for the day. That's for another story. <laughs> That's another story. Bye. He has been the best. Uh, even though he's top one and like. Uh, top one and what? Uh, yeah, complicated. Yeah, top one. Yeah. But you're also complicated. Mm. And yeah. But he's fine. He's he's a very good man. You know? And she is a very. You know the thing, right? You know the name, right? All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you like it, you know what to do. Peace out. Out. <laughs>